And let me say, as I look around this room, I don't see anyone waving a white flag. Yeah. Bobby Jindal didn't make it to Connecticut. <laughs> but we, uh, we had a conversation, Bobby and I did, about what's good for America. I absolutely believe, as you do, that if you work 40 hours a week, you should not be living in poverty in Connecticut or in any of the 50 states of America. There is a time to lead and there is a time to follow. I will follow this president on the great policies that he has put forward. But New England needs to lead on this issue. We need to make sure that women move out of poverty, that young people move out of poverty that they can raise their families, that they can aspire on behalf of their children. They deserve a decent wage, and we're going to give it to them here in Connecticut. Let's be very clear. $10.10 adjusted for inflation is what we were paying in 1968. And I got to tell you, we're all worth at least as much as we were in 1968. So let's make it very clear that New England and Connecticut and the states represented here and other states in the nation. We get it. A rising tide should raise all boats. We have to make sure our fellow citizens can raise their children the way they want to raise them, that they have a decent wage, that they make sure that they go to great schools, that they're safe, 